the flail or the mason chain. Despite being a quintessential medieval item, consisting of a wooden haft, a chain, and a heavy lead or steel ball, um, ideally not lead, as lead would deform, so steel or iron would be more preferred, this style of mace is very likely not something that was common in medieval ages. The peasant's flail, which we know was common uh, from the 14th century forward, was an extremely long haft with a long bar. And the reason why is because that was used for threshing grain. You put the grain on the ground, you would hit it with it, it would thresh grain or other materials. This, however, what we see in role-playing games, was very unlikely used in medieval ages, or if it was, it was very rarely used. And there's a lot of reasons why. It's extremely dangerous. If you hit somebody with it, the ball likes to come back due to how levers work, and you hit your hand, so you're going to break your own hand fighting with this. Uh, despite that, there are some historical accounts of things similar to this. There's a 3rd century um, drawing that depicts one of these. There's a couple documents from the 11th to the 13th century that depicts things like these. And then you start seeing flails like this showing up in um, 15th century paintings and going forward. However, it is still really fun to use. The mason chain or the flail against one inch thick board. Extremely effective.